Good evening. <coughs> I'm Mary Jane Blank. Uh, oh, there it is. There's, and this, I bring you back once again to Painkiller. Uh, Black Edition, which is the good edition. Black is good. That's all I gotta say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. Alright. So, I attempted to go back and get some of the cards to get some abilities to use. So, I'm not gonna fuck with that. <sighs> Let's just move forward. Let's just go back to Chapter 3, Level 1, Train Station. Alright, Train Station. Oh, I like it. Oh, is there a normal subway? Or is it a bullet train? It looks pretty cool. In the sketch. Okay. So... Uh... 20, 40, 30, 30. Okay, uh, let's try... I have no idea what to expect, actually, so I don't know why I'm overthinking this. Alright. Whoa! You've got a gun. Uh-oh. We've got people with guns fighting now. This is bad. I don't like this. Oh, jeez. I can't see shit. Holy crap. I'm sorry. I don't care anymore. Whoa, okay. Not, not, not that high. Like, one would be good. Like, this would be fine. Let's see, 1, 99, 1.2, 1. 1. 1. There we go, 1.6, how about that? It's a little better. The fact that I can turn it all the way up to 5, and it's like, but don't do that. But also like, you know, you can if you want to. Hi! I bet they said die, but... Hi! Oh, hi. Secret area discovered. Can I see in here? No. There's like nothing in there to see. Great. Good. This really is a game where like... Uh-oh. Let's uh, just blow those up real quick. Just for fun. Not for any reason, really. This train station is intense a little bit. This level, the darkness, is really getting me. I don't know why it's like so much darker than normal. It's so much darker than normal, you know? Yeah, I think red just means you're manipulating it, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, suddenly I'm finally in a place small enough where the Grenades are working, are really going well. Whoa, hello. Whoa! That was pretty wild looking, eh? Pretty cool! Ow, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Blowing these things up? Yeah, give me that. Uh, yeah, give me that. Oh, fucking go to my hell. I think I'm starting to understand, Shell. Oh, jeez, the body is like gyrating, ululating, and all this shit. There's so many fucking places to possibly go. I guess I'm gonna do what I always do, and I'm just gonna go the the good direction, the direction forward. <gasps> A new gun. Uh. Oh, these are some like Bioshock trains. They're tiny though. Okay, the range on this thing, amazing. This is beautiful. Oh fuck. The whole, gr br the whole grenade, the whole brigade. That's what the other one does? 
No fucking wonder you can swap them. That's cool. Oh my god, I've got a hundo. They've caught a bunch of M16s, it looks like. Oh no, no, they're shotguns. Sorry. At first glance, I thought they were fully automatic, but now they're, they're shotguns. Not that I know a lot about guns, I just, I like to know a little bit. I actually, because I don't like them, in fact, I, I, but, okay, so the reason I do not like guns is because they're only function. There is no function of a gun other than, other than, uh, the lethality of it. Literally, it has nothing else going for it. Uh... You know, it, it is what it is. It's a lethal weapon. I mean, like, that's the appeal, right? Is that it's this, like, lethal weapon. Two. Or three with Dopeshi. Is he in two, or is he just in three? I thought he was just in three. Uh, three and four, obviously. Uh, as everyone knows. Uh, I, of course, only ever saw that movie because when my family, my parents got a DVD player in 1999. That's right. Uh, it came with a bunch of terrible but free DVDs of bad movies that came out in 1998. They, in fact, like it was all movies that came out in 98. It was like all these. Uh, it's just one certain set, and so we got the 1998 Lost in Space, starring um, uh, that one guy. Uh, oh, and and uh, Matt LeBlanc is in it. Oh, and there's also that that one that one woman who's in a few other movies. And a couple other people. And then there's the kids, too. What the fuck is the guy's name I can't even think of? I don't even know. Anyway. Irrelevant. Irrelevant! 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 What am I thinking of? That's an episode of, uh... Whoops. That's an episode of... Star Trek, but I, I think it's Deep Space Nine. I think it's it's a Cardassian like scientist. <sighs> Shit. Ah, oh, butternuts. Oh well, whatever. Doesn't matter. That's the kind of night I'm having. Fuck it. Yeah. Now this gun is actually really weak. Oh, fuck off! Oh, jeez, those MFers are protecting the damn, uh, health. Shit. Okay. 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 I guess there's a lot of bullshit. There's a lot of bullshit over here, to be honest with you. Fuck! I think my mic might be too close to my mouth, too. Ugh. God damn it. I am in, like, a mood tonight. Oh, it's a rocket launcher! That's not grenades, that's rockets? Or, or, or it's RPG, maybe? Uh, that's, uh, of course, a rocket propelled grenade. Fuck! I got hit when I got the health too. Fuck you. Um. All the Square Enix classics. Um. Dragon Quest. Hey! You get off of my. Oh shit, and then these MFers come up from fucking behind my ass. Throwing grenadoes. What throwing? What the fuck are those? Oh my god. Those are the things that were killing me. It wasn't it wasn't anyone else. It was those dudes. It was these friends. These horrible friends. You're the worst friend I've ever had. I've never had a friend choke me to death. I, I can only die once. And I can never tell the story because I can only experience it. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, for a writer, at least. For me, as a writer, that is actually a little bit unfortunate. It's like, 
writers don't just want to write, I don't just want to write my own obituary. I mean, I don't want to write my own obituary, actually, but I would love to write my own death. Oh my god, my death scene. Uh, I don't know how it would happen. I mean, I write a lot of death scenes, to be honest with you, kind of for that reason. <coughs> Is that, like, in reality, I don't know how it's going to happen, and so I'm a man I like to imagine different ways that it could happen. Uh, not just the circumstances, but the methods, too. I know that seems a little serial killer-y, but, um... But, uh, I, there's nothing I can say to assure you that it isn't, so... Um... In fact, well, I also say that because one of the pieces I wrote is... Uh... Half of it is a scene of a serial killer, uh, being hanged, and or being hung, whatever, being hanged. And, uh, and so, like, in a way, I, I can live vicariously through that character, but also, like, the reason I say, like, the circumstances, too, because, like, that character gives, like, a, a crazy speech, because they are a total sociopath. So, like, ba they basically decide to spend their last few minutes on Earth taunting all of the victims to, to re-traumatize them. Uh, basically, to, like, this is something people actually do. It's, it's really fucked up, but anyway, that's another thing to that I want to explore in fiction. I like, uh, oh, jeez. Actually, that is sort of the hard part for me, too, with, like, horror. I actually really enjoy writing horror. The problem is that what scares me is too scary for me, usually, to write about. Like, what scares me more than anything is... Um, basically, uh, what scares me is stuff like the original intent of The Shining. Abusive, violent people. That's what scares me. Actually, yeah. Pretty much. More than anything else. Because, at least if, from a realistic perspective, yeah. And I mean, like, I know that's a really reductive way of putting it. You know, violent, abusive people. But, like, I'm sure there are violent, abusive people causing problems all over the world constantly. You know? I'm not saying that they're the cause of all problems, but violent. No one wants somebody to be, to be too violent. This is the a, a, amount of violence that I want in my life. Virtual, digital, fake, ridiculous even. It's not even anywhere near realistic. It reminds- it, for me, it's like, it reminds me of the artifice. You know, it's like, I can't take it seriously, which is good. Which is a good thing. Oh my god, they're spawning here! Hey, 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 how about you eat my ass, fuckers? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, we got names! Oh, they're Proxy Mini! So I don't know why I'm pronouncing things- I do know why I'm pronouncing things worse, because I'm stoned! So I'm high on weed! High on cannabis! <laughs> high on life and cannabis! It's a good Facebook post of mine, that's how you know how old I am. Because I... use Facebook. Until I started using Twitter. I basically stopped using Facebook because... Um... I use social media to fill voids in my life that they can't actually fill adequately. Because nothing can void your life. Yeah. 
can never be filled because it doesn't exist? No, that's not exactly how it works. I don't know why I turned into, uh, not even German, like, movie Nazi accent. Which is, as people will tell you, not exactly German. It's, it's definitely its own ridiculous thing. Its own subgenre of, 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 uh, theatrical accents. Well, more like cinematic accents, to be fair. I mean, it's called the movie Nazi, not the stage Nazi. Stage Nazis exist, I'm sure, but... I think... I saw a play once, I think it was actually about... No, I think it was about the Soviet Union, it was about East Germany. During the Soviet occupation. When I was like... I have no idea when I saw that play. Did I really see that when I was 15? 16? Well, if I saw it when I was 16, that's 15 years ago. Fuck me. Uh, I know that I am so old that I constantly am reminding you how old I am. Uh, I'm basically, I'm either I'm baby or I'm old. If I, because I'm doing that basically. I got died. I just realized. Yeah, now it's taken so much time. I'm like, ah, uh, oh, it has to load first. Excuse me. Hail Satan. Oh, okay. No, not a problem. <sighs> Worship chaos. Praise the earth. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Referencing a terrible movie horrifying to watch. One of the best horror movies of all time, made by one of the worst people. He makes great horror movies, and guess why? Because he actually, he understands that kind of fucked up horror, but it's because he is a perpetrator, and not because... It's because he's both, actually. Oh! It's a one-two punch kind of deal. Oh, shit! That's why it's not doing that much damage, because it's not- I'm not using them the correct way. There's a lot of them. They got bayonets, too? That's- oh, that's why I thought they were rifles. Oh wait, no, these ones do have rifles! What? Am I mistaken? Am I just, like, really misreading these sprites? Jeez, Crassers! Krasensteins! Excuse you! I have no idea who those are. I can't remember what movie that's from. At this point in my life. Mary, John dead. I got stabbed again. Fuck. Ah! Is tough. Whoa! Hello, boys! I'm back! Sorry, it's a great movie. It's one of the worst, best movies of all time. Wait, best, worst movies. It's a bad movie. It's hilarious. And it's horrible. No, it's not even horrible. Actually, you know what? Independence Day is not a bad... Like, it's not a terrible movie. It's literally just, like, the most naive fucking jingoistic shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, A, the film posits that Americans will solve- America can solve everything, which it cannot and would not in a global crisis, as we've seen. Um, but in 1996? Maybe. You know? But, yeah, everything about it, I love it. Listen, again, you know what, I think I've said this before, 
But I'm gonna say it again, listen to the Bechtel cast. They did a great episode on Independence Day with Lindsay Ellis. You gotta you gotta check it out. If I if I get you to do one thing, listen to the Bechtel cast. Oh no, if I get you to do one thing, vote for Bernie Sanders. If I get you to do two things, listen to the Bechtel cast. And if I get you to do three, play painkiller, you know? Just cause I'm uh, you know, I'm playing it. And like you know, they seem non-litigious. <laughs> Actually, I haven't published any of them yet. I don't know if they're non-litigious or not. You don't know that, because I'm publishing them in order, so... <laughs> Fucking... Come on my face. That's what I say when I'm frustrated. Come on my face. That's what I say when I'm horny or frustrated. No one can tell the difference. People say I'm hard to read, I don't know why. I actually try to be very easy to read, but I, I, my, my problem is actually a self issue. My, my problem is that, um, uh, I eat my shit. Oh, I see. I don't know. Do I want that armor though? I don't really think I do. Who's fucking with me? God damn it. Who's fucking with me? Blah. Jump. Bye. Fuck. The problem is, they're definitely gonna spawn more. A ton of these b-holes are gonna spawn. A ton of these h-holes. What are h-holes? What would an h-hole be? I wonder. A hole? A whole hole. It's- No, no, no that'd be a w-hole. Hey. Wink, wink, winky, winky. Winky, 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 winky. No, we're not gonna take it. Anymore. That's me to my brain. I don't know why I'm memeing in real time. I didn't. I never saw the meme. I never. I never made the meme. I never saw the meme. I did not know about the meme. <laughs> I never saw the meme. I did not make the meme. <sighs> now, my favorite thing about that is like, I actually don't know if that person is lying or not. You know, like. That would be a great trick, because it it definitely fooled me the first time. Uh, if, if it were a trick. If it's not a trick, then, like, then, yeah, then I just believed her the first time. Uh, but, uh, because that would be a great way to seem like you don't know what you're talking about, is by mispronouncing something very specifically the wrong way. Because there, there's also the interesting sideline of she could be lying and that's how she pronounces meme because she never knew that's what it was how it was said because of being online and only reading it so like there's just so many past past so many possibilities so many possibles that can this can be made into that can be so many possibles that can be made out of this story you know infinite possibilities Pasta bowl tea. Pasta, pasta, pasta bowl. Pasta bowl tea. Did I get this shit already? Fuck no, I didn't. Hey, thank you. Thank you for my bullshit. Oh, hello. You're putting me into the wrong. Nobody puts Daniel in the corner. Ugh. Yep, I knew it. I'm like, I have to get out of here because they're gonna spawn. Because this is just like every other fucking shooter. Mm -mm. No. Every enemy's got a spawn point. It's not like fucking gauntlet. Oh my god. This is a gauntlet though. But it's not like the gauntlet games where there's a bunch of monster spawners. Those are fascinating games. And they're fun too. Don't get me wrong. Don't, don't, don't misconstrue my meaning and think that I don't think the gauntlet games are fun. But... 
also somehow they don't they don't really they don't really do anything else with the mechanic though you know what i mean i mean for 1984 or you know for the original gauntlet i can you know for i can i can get it but once they were remaking it in the 90s that's when it starts getting really gratuitous like what well also it's cuz the PlayStation version you know uh, a lot of companies uh, to save disk space um, they would um, excuse me yeah to save space they wouldn't use a lot of music and so uh, or they'd use it in a certain way specific way um, Like, my copy of Dave Mira, I have a copy of Dave Mira's BMX Freestyle, whatever it's called. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Dave Mira's Freestyle BMX for the PlayStation, and it's this is a later one. This is like, uh, 2000, and I, I rented it for the Dreamcast as well, so that's how late it was. Um, and, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs! I found the other spawn points. It's wherever I am currently! Shit! Well. God damn it. I really need to not be playing this game right now. Do I feel like that's good? Yeah, that's fucking good enough. I'm good. Fuck this. Thank you so much for watching my video. Watching my shit takes on painkiller. I hope that you have a wonderful night. That you find acceptance wherever you look for it. That people can accept that being fucking queer and or trans uh, is just pretty much normal. It's just the thing that people experience, uh, and I know firsthand because I experienced both those things. I am a trans lesbian, so not, not like people like to think that like you say these things for like some kind of thing. This like attention or points, like it's just a description, you know. I could go into more detail, but why should I? That's really dumb of me to do. I'm just pushing the sign around. Sorry, I'm just having fun now. Uh, but anyway. Uh. Alright. I don't know why I just collected all that shit. Because I'm gonna say, see you next time, ladies and gender queers.